and as we've seen, there's hope for life on Europa, a distant moon. Now, when we're thinking about a planet that could be home to life, what are the key things it should have? First off, we need water. Life, just like us, really likes a drink, so water is a big deal. Hello space lover. Welcome to an extraordinary space journey. From ancient beliefs to modern discoveries, we're on a quest to unveil the potential for life on Europa. Today, I promise you an amazing video. Please stay with me till the end, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Throughout history, from ancient civilizations to the modern era, our curiosity has driven us to explore the cosmos. When we delve into the world of ancient peoples, we uncover intriguing remnants that reveal their enduring fascination with space. But what did these early civilizations think about the vast expanse of the cosmos? The journey to explore outer space began long ago, even before modern telescopes and spacecraft. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians, Egyptians, and Mayans watched the stars, planets, and the sky carefully. They wanted to understand the patterns and movements of these celestial objects. These early astronomers created systems to keep track of what they saw in the sky and predict when certain events would happen. Their work laid the foundation for our understanding of space. In ancient times, the Babylonians saw the universe in a special way. They thought it was like a flat piece of land oh, surrounded by wow. water, which was a really interesting idea for studying the sky. What set the Babylonians apart is that they were the very first people to carefully write down and remember how the planets moved in the sky. Like others at the time, they believed that if they understood how these planets moved, they could use that knowledge to tell what would happen in the future. In ancient Egypt, they thought the sky was a giant blanket of stars. They believed a goddess named Nut was the sky, and she was kept away from the earth by a god named Shu. They also believed that the stars were the spirits of people who had passed away, and the sun, represented by the god Are, sailed in a boat across the sky every day, bringing light and life. The Egyptians watched the sun and the moon carefully because they were important for their farming and religious ceremonies. They combined their beliefs about space with their religion and culture, and they built things like pyramids and temples to show their connection to the stars and the sky. The Mayans, another ancient civilization, also had their own unique beliefs about the universe. They saw the cosmos as a vast, interconnected web of life, where everything, including the stars and planets, played a role in the world's events. The Mayans were extraordinary astronomers who created complex calendars to track celestial events like eclipses and the movements of Venus. They believed that understanding these events allowed them to communicate with their gods and predict important events on Earth, such as crop cycles and wars. Their intricate observations of the night sky and their precise calendars continue to impress us today, highlighting their profound connection between the heavens above and life on Earth. Today, in our modern era, our view of space is very different from the old days. We don't believe in flat Earths or gods in the sky anymore. Instead, we use powerful tools like telescopes and spacecraft, plus scientific methods, to explore space. Modern astronomers study things like faraway galaxies, black holes, and how new stars are born. We've sent robots to Mars, spacecraft to other planets, and found thousands of planets outside our solar system. Our goal is to learn about the universe. We don't use stars to predict the future, but our interest in space remains strong. We're curious about what's out there, whether there might be life on other planets, and how the universe began. Today, space exploration is a global effort. People from around the world, including scientists and space fans, work together to learn more about space. We have tools like the Hubble Space Telescope that take amazing pictures of distant galaxies, and we're always looking for planets where life might exist. Our journey into space continues, and with every new discovery, we get closer to understanding where we fit in the vast and incredible universe around us. And as we've seen, there's hope for life on Europa, a distant moon. Now, when we're thinking about a planet that could be home to life, what are the key things it should have? Well, it's kind of like making a recipe for life, and here's what we need. First off, we need water. Life, just like us, really likes a drink, so water is a big deal. 
we'd like nice weather. You know, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Planets should have steady weather, not crazy swings. Breathing is essential, so a planet needs air. Think of it as the planet's own atmosphere with the right mix of gases. Life needs the right ingredients, like carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are the basics for building life. Energy is a must-have. On Earth, we get it from the sun, but other sources like heat can work too. We also need to protect life from bad stuff like space radiation. So, some kind of shield, like an atmosphere, is essential. A planet's ground should be steady, not shaky. We're talking about stable ground here. Life needs time to develop. So, a planet needs to stay in the right spot around its star for a long, long time. Lastly, life often works together, like a team, in what we call an ecosystem. It's like everyone has a job to make things work smoothly. Okay, here's the scoop, in our big galaxy, there's this moon around Jupiter called Europa. It's the fourth largest one there. Now, why it's exciting is that it might actually be a good place for life. You see, Europa's surface is frozen water, just like what we have here on Earth. But here's the cool part, a fancy telescope called James Webb found something called carbon dioxide there. And that changes everything. With carbon dioxide in the mix, things start looking really good for the possibility of life on Europa. It's like a science dream coming true. But having frozen water on a planet may not be enough for life, what we really need is liquid water. Now, the fascinating question is, what lies beneath those icy surfaces? Could there be water hiding underneath? Scientists are confident a salty ocean lies below a miles thick ice shell, sparking questions about the potential habitability of the ocean. In the early 2030s, the NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft will arrive and strive to answer these questions about Europa's habitability. Imagine this, in the 2030s, NASA's Europa Clipper spaceship arrives at Europa and starts exploring deep below the surface. Now, picture if it finds living things there. That would be a total game changer, completely changing how we think about life. So, the adventure continues, and with each new step, we get closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. In the end, space exploration is not just about science, it's about our insatiable curiosity, our desire to uncover the unknown, and our journey to find our place in the vast cosmos. So, I've put a lot of effort into preparing this video, and all I ask is for your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Your support means the world to me, and it empowers me to continue sharing knowledge with you and the world. Together, we can explore the wonders of the universe and make science accessible to all. Thank you for being a part of this incredible journey.